It's been a long and glamorous road for singer, actress and model Melissa Coutts. More than 25 years after her E Street role and music career made her a household name, reality TV saw the star return to our screens. Don't worry, Mummy didn't bake them. She bought them so they're delicious. I just can't cook. My children don't like my cooking at all. What meal am I going to ruin tonight? Now Melissa's back behind the mic and this morning she performed her new song, The Key, for the very first time on The Morning Show. You got the key, you got the, you got the key. You got the, you got the key. Love it, sounds amazing. Melissa Kelts joins us live at the desk. Hi guys. Melissa. Congratulations Hello. on that new song. Thank it's, you. It's a good dance song. How did it feel performing it for the first time? Um, look, it's, it's really great. It's quite different for me, that song, actually. Um, I do a lot of dance um, numbers, and uh, that was a bit more poppy. And it was, yeah, I really enjoyed it. I fell in love with it the first time I heard it. It was really good. It was two um, DJs from the UK wrote it, and um, I recorded it in Queensland. So it was, it was great. I'm really happy with that. Mm. You, you mentioned um, that it's a bit different. What, what, what sort of music, I guess, are you passionate about the most? Oh, I'm passionate about everything. I listen to pop, I listen to dance, I listen to Barbra Streisand, you know what I mean? I, I'm doesn't? passionate about music <laughs> in general. Um, the music that I usually do, though, is dance numbers, you know, with DJs and collaborations with G DJs and things. So this was just a different road for me that I've, uh, what I've been doing the last couple of years. and. Um, yeah, it was, it's just a different sound for me. I feel like we've had Read My Lips on rotation though this morning. Um, we were showing the, the film clip earlier. We'll show it mm -hmm. again here. Uh, what goes through your mind when you, you see that old film clip? Oh, it's like a different person. It just seems so long ago, you know. And then when I look at it, I think, oh yeah, I remember doing that. I remember doing that. It was a really good shoot, actually. It was a really good, um, it was a fun day. Don't you the, think? Not, not a handsome guy in some dungarees <laughs> straddling oh, a no, motorcycle. That great. doesn't sort of go through your mind when you, you think about that film clip. <laughs> 1991, look at Dizzy Dose. There you go, no idea you were in this clip, Tommy Williams. Wow. Gee, you are really wearing the hell out of those dungarees. I know. Can you give us the read my Did you get a choice on what you had to wear or did they tell you to put those on? I owned them. Okay. And when I went to the casting, I was, I was, I had a photograph and then, and the guy, the your mate who, who booked me for the job goes, oh no, just bring your, your dungarees. Just wear that. Just wear that. Did you wear those dungarees to your casting? I no, I had a picture of them in the book. Of the... So, I mean, he goes, okay. mate, that's exactly the I guy we're looking for. Oh, I love it. Tom, can yeah. you just please look down camera yeah. too and, 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 and just say, read my lips with the bedroom eyes like you did in the film. <laughs> and it's all I've about the lips. I'll... Read my lips. Oh, yes. see, I like that. That's good. Well, you oh, still got sure. it. Will you get in for the new clip? <laughs> still got it, yeah, possibly. <laughs> they have to come in and audition. But... <laughs> I love it. Now, listen, can we talk about you? You have spoken about struggling with fame and depression mm -hmm. in your early success. You're a mum of two now. So mm -hmm. if either of them came to you and said, hey, Mum, I want to be a singer or an actor, mm. what would you do? <laughs> Get a degree. <laughs> <laughs> um, look, it is a hard industry because it's such a small industry. Mm. Um, you know, I've been very fortunate in my career. I've worked steadily um, throughout my career. And, um, you know, it is difficult. I know a lot of friends who have graduated from NIDA and can't get work. Uh, so it is a very hard road. I would always want them to pursue what they want to pursue, but to make sure that they had something to back them up if it doesn't work out. Have they done any kiddie modelling yet? Look at them, they're, they're so gorgeous. gorgeous. I know. Yes. My boy has. Look at him. My boy's done some work for Bonds, um, but... Yeah, he's grown. They look so young yeah, there. It's They've nice. grown up so much since that. Wow. Yeah. Hey, Melissa, everybody's talking about housewives. Mm. Uh, congratulations. It's been a great show. How much is played up to the camera and how much is, is you know, real? It is very real. What you see is what you get. Um, I think certain situations are provoked and you've got to remember where film, what you see, like this scene, for instance, that was probably an eight-hour shoot and you get, you know, what two minutes of it on air so they pick out the best bits not everyone got along as you saw so you're going to get conflict like but, that you know i'm a huge housewives fan mm, but what is too. starting to really annoy me about the entire franchise is i think everyone's cottoned on to the fact that if i create drama if i have cat fights with other women i'm going to get more airtime and then mm. i'll get my own perfume mm -hmm. or my own show or spin off or something yeah. and See, i just don't I don't believe any of it's real anymore. I know. Well, look, for me, I c I'm not going to speak for the other women. Um, for me, I purely went on that show because I'd never done reality TV before. And I went on that show and I said, I'm going to be myself. I am not going to 
act out somebody that I'm not, I'm not going to, um, you know, carry but do you think on the like... others? Do you think the others were themselves? <laughs> Come on, really. I, I'm, I really don't want to speak for them. It's just, I, I don't do that. I, you know, I, I can talk to you about my motivation for going on the show and I just wanted people to see me and see the real me and that was the real me. And I think in real life I'm probably a bit more opinionated than what you saw, but, um, you know, this was very different to anything that I'd ever done. I didn't really know the women. Mm. I'm used to stepping on set, having a script and knowing yeah. what the outcome of the scene's going to be. I had no idea it was going to... There was a lot of strong personalities there and I'm a person that needs to get to know people yeah. before I can just unleash. Good on you for um, being yourself, though, and staying true yeah. to yourself. That's, that's, that's great. That's what I wanted to do and, that you know, and I, I, I believe I did that. I'm very proud of the outcome of that and I know there was some, some talk about, oh, you know, do you regret anything, how could I possibly regret being myself? Yeah. You know, whatever came from Good that answer. came from that. You're a great chick, Melissa, and you've oh, got plenty, oh, plenty going on, especially thank with the you. new music. So uh, thank great you. to talk to you this afternoon. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me, guys. I really appreciate it. The new single from Melissa Couts is called The Key. It is out right now. Please go and get it.